What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, we got another video for you today. It's the second one today, and you know what to do. As per usual, drop 10k in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe if you are new. Just drop 10k in the comments. Like the vid. Let's hit. Let's get this video to 60 likes, and we'll be giving away another 10k. Net last vid I posted before. Let's get that to 100 likes, baby. I believe our video hit 80 likes yesterday, guys. Thank you for all the support. We're closing in on 700. We're going to get closer and closer to 700 this week. We're at 645 subs. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. And guys, this video today is going to be my top 10 investments. And there's going to be no order between silver, bronze, and gold, whatever. I'm just going to be going over through my rankings over here. I got a, bu a bunch of rankings over the last month total and who I think is doing amazing, who you should invest in. So let's get into it. And we're going to start off. We're going to start off with Chris Bryant, okay? And why do I say Chris Bryant's an amazing investment? Why do I say? Right now, he was 34k the other day with his edge up. Right now, he's 25k with his edge down. And what I recommend is, if his edge is down right now, I think he's going to go up in value. And right now, his stats are unbelievable. I'm going to read them off to you over the last month. Over the last month, he's hitting 300, like 10. He's 28 for 94. He has 28 hits, 11, uh, 11 singles, uh, 6 doubles, and 10 home runs, and 24 RBIs with the triple this month. So, those stats are unbelievable. But the only time what I invested, I would only invest in him today, just because his edge is down. Whenever you see a guy's edge down is the time you need to invest in. And that is the best time to invest. Chris Bryant right now at 26K is a definite investment for me. I'll be investing in him. But yeah, let's get on to the next one. Next one, another player who's been absolutely unbelievable this month, Eduardo Escobar. Not a lot of people talk about him in investment videos, and I don't know why. I'm going to pick up probably 30 of these guys for 300 stubs. Think about this. So ready? 300 stubs. He's a silver. He's not gold. So think about this. If he keeps this up and he turns gold and you have 20 of them, he turns gold. Then he goes up to a minimum of 1,000 stubs. You make about 600 stubs after reduction off each, 600 times 10. You make 6K stubs off 10. So what I recommend for you to do is go pick up as many Eduardo Escobars as you can. And I think he should go 79, maybe gold within the next update. And we're going to keep going. I already talked about this guy, but I'm going to keep saying it. He's not the best fielder, but he's just been on a tear. And it's Charlie Blackman at number three. So Charlie Blackman. At 1,200 stubs, I have 16 of Charlie Blackman's. Guys, just get him because I'm going to tell you why I think he's going to go up. He's not the best fielder. He's okay at fielding. But first of all, I think his speed should definitely go up. And his power against lefties has to go up. And his vision because his average is amazing. Charlie Blackman needs to go up two overalls. I have 16 of him. If he doesn't go up at least two overalls, we're going to have problems. I seriously think that's BS. And yes, that is number three on the list. Number four, we got Mr. Whit Merrifield. Another great investment, in my opinion. Just look at it. Okay, first of all, for 1,300 stubs, this is crazy. Because he's a complete average hitter. And he's been having power. Let's read off the stats. Let's go to Mr. Whit Merrifield over here. He has a couple crazy games. He's ranked 12 in fantasy overall. Over the last month, he's batting about 300. He's 31 for 108. Uh, he's 31 for 108 over the last month. He has 31 hits, 15, uh, 15 singles, 8 doubles, 4 triples, 4 home runs, 13 RBIs, 2 stolen bases, and 12 walks, and only 20 strikeouts. So, yo, he's walking a lot. His vision's got to go up a little bit. I think his power definitely has to go up a little bit because he's hitting in the gap. He has triples. He has doubles. Maybe even his speed a little bit as well because he has a couple triples. So, yeah, that's the fourth player on the list. I hope you guys like the vid so far. Let's get into the fifth. And let's hold up one second. I'm not, I would say George Springer, but I'm not going to because as a diamond player, I don't think he's going to go up that much more. But yeah, so let's keep going. We got, let's see, let's see. Okay, Jorge Polanco. You saw him up on my screen in the beginning of the video. And here it is. Jorge Polanco has been absolutely absurd. And for 700 stubs, I don't think you can go wrong. You, if you if you pick up a bunch of them, you make 300 stubs off each. 300 stubs times 10. 3K off Corey Polanco. 
And if he's a gold, honestly, if you're running a budget squad, you're on a budget, bro, he might be a usable player. His stats are good. As his stats go up, you're going to see his stats could be really freaking good when he turns gold. He could be a complete beast all around. But let's keep going, baby. We got... Oh, man. Let's see. Who we got? We got Ueno Suarez. He is a gold. Suarez. We got... Okay, let's read off the stats before we get into this. Eugenio Suarez. This is the stats. We already, the last month, he's batting 30. He's 30 for 109. That's about 300 average, okay? 300 average, 30 hits, 14 singles, 7 doubles, 1 triple, 9 home runs, 23 RBIs on a stolen base, 10 walks versus 34 strikeouts. So, what I think is going to go down... His vision might go up a little bit because he kind of has a, a lot of strikeouts, but first of all, he's a great fielder. If you saw the play on Instagram the other day, he's been an absolutely amazing fielder, and he's a he's a hitting beast. I think his contact versus right should go up, his power versus right should go up, his speed should go up a little bit, and his vision should definitely go up. But yeah, that's what I got. Let's go into the next one, and we got Devers, man. Devers over the last month has been absolutely amazing. And let's get into the stats. Oh, hold up. My bad for that. Let's get into the stats. We got Mr. Raphael Devers over here. And here it is. Raphael Devers. 135 stubs. Very cheap. I have how many of them? How many do I have? I have seven of them. I think he might go gold this year. And honestly, the only problem with Devers is, is that he's not the best fielder. Okay? He doesn't even really play the field. He's like a DH, but... Look at the hitting stats. I think they should go up to an 80 a piece at this year. Let's go over the stats. Ready? We got 34 for 101. He's batting well over 300. He's got 23 singles, 8 doubles, and 3 homers with 20 RBIs and 3 stolen bases. 11 walks for 16 strikeouts. First of all, his vision's got to go up. His plate discipline's got to go up. He's got to go up in overall. His batting has to be 80 all around. He's batting crazy. He's one of the top hitters right now in baseball. Number six, we got Jose Abreu. And here it is. We're going into him. Jose Abreu is going to turn gold. As you can see, I have six. I hate how it backs out. We got Jose Abreu. His stats are... He's playing amazing. What I'm thinking is... Listen. Honestly, his power is up a lot. His power is kind of high. But honestly, they should just give him a little bit of better stats because I don't believe that his 62 fielding, his 43 speed, I think they should up his speed maybe a little bit. His power should go up to a 90 on each. His power versus right should definitely go up. His vision should definitely go up. You know why his vision should go up? They can't give a guy 66 vision that's batting over 300. That's absurd. Here are the stats. He has 32 hits, 17 singles, 8 doubles, 7 home runs, 26 RBIs, Seven walks versus 20 strikeouts. Everything has to go up on that. Let's get into the next one. We got Paul. No, no. Paul DeJongre turned gold. I would stay away from him. We got Anthony Rizzo. And we're going to go. Anthony Rizzo has been absolutely absurd finally. And I'm pretty sure he's still a quick sell value. Can Rizzo go diamond this year? Very possible. I'm picking up as many as I can. I hope he does. Let's go into the stats. We got. Sola. Why is it keep backing out? That's annoying. So we got Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. He's at 1,400. What is this? The seventh guy? The seventh guy is Rizzo. We got... These are the stats for the month. He's batting over 300. No. Yeah, he's batting well over 300. He's got 26. He's 26 for 86. He's batting... He has 12 singles, 6 doubles, 8 home runs, 20 RBIs, a stolen base... And guys, he has 8 walks versus 11 strikeouts. So he has been absurd over the last month. Rizzo could go down this year. Let's get into the next one at number 8. CJ Crone Daddy on the freaking Angels. Let's check him out. CJ Crone. He's a silver. He might go up to a 78. Over the last month, he is. He has 23 hits. 23 singles. No, he's 4. No, no. He's 30 for 104. Batting well over 300. He has 16 singles. Three doubles, 10 dingers, 22 RBIs, nine walks versus 20 strikeouts. What I think is going to go up is got to be his vision. Honestly, his his arm strength should go up a little bit more. His power should go up more. His single, he, he's got to be upgraded, in my opinion. Let's go into the num next one. Number, okay, number eight. This is a big one, man. Trevor Story, man. He's got to go diamond. Trevor Story. Trevor Story's at 2K. 
guys if he doesn't go up in value i don't know what to say i mean yeah his stats are already crazy but he has to go diamond he's been playing amazing just overall he's just been playing his, all his heart out and to, the fact that his vision is for is a, a 41 it's just dissed you know why let's look at the stats he's bad he's 29 for 106 it's about 300 one hit he has uh, 16 singles, 7 doubles, a triple, 5 dingers, 20 RBIs, 4 stolen bases, 8 walks versus 28 strikeouts. I think his vision should go up. He does strike out a little bit. I think his vision should go up at least 10. He's been playing absolutely amazing. And let's go to number 9. We got Jonathan O. Scoop. Scoop Daddy. Let's see. Let's go into the stats. Where is he? Is he a bronze this year? Where is Scoop? There it is. 735. 568 stubs that's way too cheap if he goes gold this year we're lit we're all gonna make mad stubs and let's read off the stats we got i'm pretty sure he's batting average we got yeah 30 for 103 he's batting 300 this month he's got a 14 singles 10 doubles six homers 20 rbis two walks versus 20 strikeouts honestly with two walks versus 20 strikeouts that's not the best he doesn't walk a lot but he's batting well over 300 so honestly, I think all stats should go up a little bit, especially his power and his contact. And let's go to number nine, I believe it is. I'm pretty sure. And it's going to be, uh, what is it? I don't know how to say his name. Honestly, what is it? Mondesi, Mondesi. I don't know how to say his name. If I botched it, whatever. I don't care. He's been on a tear and he's silver and I think he's going to go gold. Let's see how much he's worth. Actually, no. I, I take that back. I would not buy this car. He's too expensive. But if you think he's going to go gold and he's going to be a little more expensive than a thousand, I'll go ahead and get him. But right now, Byron Buxton, 400 stubs. I'm buying it. Very cheap. Over the last month, he's 26 for 94. We got 11 singles, 10 doubles, uh, four homers, and a triple. He has 18 RBIs, four stolen bases, nine walks versus 20 strikeouts. Guys, that's very good stats. That's all-star stats over the last month. And Byron Buxton, look at the hitting. His hitting's got to go up. He's batting over 300. Yo, this card, if he turns gold, he could legitimately be a complete stud. He could be Ricky Henderson. All his hitting stats have to go up. I really think he's going to get upgraded. And we're going to get to the last one. And everybody on my channel knows this. We're going to do it again. It's Hunter Dozier. And he's just been a, a complete beast over the last month, over the last season, literally. For 92 stubs, he's going to be silver. He's going to go up to about 300 stubs. I have 34 of him. Let me just show you this guy's stats. 47, 29 for 91. He's batting well over 300 over the last month. 16 singles, 5 home runs, 6 doubles, 3 triples, a stolen base, 14 walks versus 19 strikeouts. He has been absurd. His vision's got to go to a 70. His power, his contact, everything has to go up. I think this guy's going to be a silver. And honestly, guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the second video today. Drop 10K in the comments. Like the vid. So if you're new, and that's all I got today, guys. Peace.